Hi, yesterday I gave you a brief introduction, a brief explanation of the kind of cases that we are at our legal team uh, investigating and taking on. Uh, we have many cases of abuse, we have many cases of dogs abandoned by hunters, of hunters hanging the dog, their dogs on the, in the fields. And there is no shortage of cases to, to pick from. Uh, there's one in the north of Spain, this dog that has been tied for years, etc. But I also mentioned something that happened just in the morning. I explained to you that there was this lady that arrived to her home and found her dog hanging from the ceiling. I want to give you a bit more of information about this. Um, I will tell you as much as I can without compromising anyone. This is uh, one of the hospital's clients. Uh, she had an elderly dog. She herself is an elderly person. And uh, the dog was 18 years old. She was super connected to that dog, super connected. And she used to come to the hospital for, you know, checkups. Sometimes she would come just there was nothing wrong with the dog, but she would just come and chat and talk to us and, and just tell us the tell us the adventures and misadventures of her of her of her doggy. When that woman arrived, uh, yesterday she went shopping and when she came back home she found her dog hanging, hanging from the ceiling. Someone had entered the home and uh, well, they, well, she was away with her daughter and they killed her dog. Obviously, uh, we know who's done it. Um, it's someone really close to the family and uh, someone that uh, holds a grudge in an old relationship of, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm telling you too much now. But, uh, but we know who's done it without any doubt and uh, and we're gonna go for him we're gonna go for him after I record this video after I hang up I'm gonna talk to my lawyer to Carlos and we're gonna we're gonna take on this case I don't know what's gonna happen but uh, but I'll definitely keep you posted as much as I can anyway uh, just uh, this uh, this news have uh, you no know, have got me completely in shock and uh, it's been really difficult to think of uh, anything else really. So we have a rocky surgery tomorrow. We have to operate Matt again. Remember Matt? He had this uh, problem with the nose because of leishmaniasis. We've dealt with the disease, now it's under control, and now we have to rebuild his face. In coming days, you will see more of him. We're gonna, ho we're gonna have to operate Maya as well. Uh, Maya has, uh, has some mammary tumors that need to be taken off. And the problem is that she has quite, quite a few, so we'll have to take both, uh, both lines of breasts. Anyway, so lots of things happening, very stressful at the moment. And uh, this is why today I wanted this video and I wanted to have these few minutes with you. I want them to be positive and to be uh, happy and to, to be a reflection of uh, who we are and what we do. Uh, I'm just going to show you some images of our dogs at the White House, our shelter. The White House uh, started two years ago as a place to to keep our most critical cases and you know during the time of recovery while they recovered and they went home after they left the hospital you know sometimes they needed some rehab they needed some you know time to heal their wounds both uh, physical and spiritual and uh, and I didn't want to put them in a pension in a in a, in a in a boarding facility or or in a shelter actually not in a shelter definitely so I just rented this beautiful home and uh, and over there the dogs uh, lived in complete freedom uh, there is there's always someone in the house there are usually there are two or three people at all times and uh, they have a great life and this is our animal shelter it's not a normal place it's a place where the dogs live as in a family 
It's a place that is a place that receives visitors from all over the world. Uh, it's a place where there are no chains, there are no colors. There's only fun, you know, and a beautiful swimming pool that we are about to we're about to start swimming on, and uh, and it's just a great place. So um, I just wanted to show you uh, a day in the life of uh, the dogs at the White House. Are we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so that much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. Oh, it feels a wonder. So while we have all these cases at the hospital and while we take on this, uh, these really horrific cases of animal abuse, um, we must not forget the animals that we have under our care and we are giving them the best, the best possible life. Many of these animals are going to be with us forever. Uh, chances of anyone adopting a dog in a wheelchair that is uh, incontinent, both, uh, both from pee and poo, are very limited. So, so we have designed a place so that they can have the best possible life while they are with us. So guys, thanks a lot for being here. You've just seen images of the White House. 
all these animals come from horrible conditions of abuse and you know injuries and abandoned and traffic accidents and you know horrible horrific things and uh, and we have transformed their lives and given them a place to to live on so please if you can don't forget that you know we can't do all of this without your help so please if you can uh, consider becoming one of our sponsors a few months ago i set up an initiative that in time is going to become is already so important uh, i set up a patreon page there's a link here you can go there and click and see what we do uh, select the level of support that you can give us on a monthly basis and and join us save lives with us please join us on patreon thank you